Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you some simple techniques to give you some pain relief from sciatica. Sciatica actually comes from the lower back, the lumbar spine, where there could be some sort of impingement that could radiate pain from the lower back down into the hip and down to the leg into your big toe. The impingements could be caused by disc bulges or any other structures that could be pressing and putting pressure onto these nerves and radiate pain down the back and down to your leg. So these techniques are gonna alleviate that pressure, take that pressure off those nerves and give you some pain relief. I hope these techniques help you as much as they helped me. Decompression of the lower back. For the first exercise, we will be using two thick pillows to lay on top of. By laying on thick pillows, it will make your back go into a bent position. Therefore, the weight of your legs and your upper back will pull apart and reduce the pressure on any of the structures in your lower back that may be impinged. When you lay in this position, just relax and take long and deep breaths so you inflate and deflate your stomach. This will open and close your lower back, giving you some pain relief as gravity does the stretching and traction in your spine. Once you are ready, you can just use one pillow instead. Just breathe in and out in a slow and controlled manner. Remember, breathing is considered an exercise in itself, and it's very important that we can control our breathing into our abdomen in a voluntary and controlled manner for our core muscles to activate. These muscles are very important to protect our lower back and prevent any pain and injury in the future. Breathe in and out for eight long deep breaths for about four to five times, or you can hold this position for approximately five to eight minutes in a relaxed state. Once you're ready, you can remove all the pillows and lay flat on the ground on your stomach. All these exercises are relevant if you have pain running down one leg or even both. I wrapped red tape around my right leg to indicate that there is pain on my right leg. As you lay prone and face down, just concentrate on your breathing and you may feel some discomfort in the lower back on your right side, but this will slowly subside, and if it doesn't subside, just go back doing the pillow exercises. Just like before, just do 8 to 10 long breaths for 4 to 5 sets. In this exercise, the breathing itself is what relieves you from back pain. Back bends. We will first start off doing back bends from the ground to your elbows. The in position is also called a sphinx pose. Having your forearms flat against the ground and in a slow and in controlled manner, push your upper body upright with your chest up nice and straight, whilst keeping your hips on the floor. This will stimulate the lower back muscles to activate and promote lumbar lordosis, a natural curve you have in your lower back to support the body. Do this for about 10 to 15 repetitions for three to four sets and have about one minute rest between each set. You may feel some discomfort doing these exercises, but slight discomfort is safe and it will slowly subside as you do more and more repetitions or sets. If that is too easy for you, you can do a full back bend, or for some people, it's also called a cobra pose. A full cobra pose is also known as Mackenzie's position. Just bring your hands close to your body and push up all the way so your elbows are locked out. This will create a large arch in the lower back and stretch the abdominals in the front. With this exercise, I want you to breathe comfortably and in a controlled manner each time you do a repetition. Doing these stretches will allow you to open up the disc spaces in the anterior part of your lumbar spine whilst working on the lumbar lordosis in your lower back. The loss of lumbar curve is usually caused by slouching excessively when you're sitting. This is also called flattening of the lower back. When the flattening of your lower back happens, other areas in your spine have to take on the load and stress and strain of the weight of your body. Therefore, the junction between your lower back and your tail may get a lot of pain, or the junction between your lower back and your upper back where your ribs end gets a lot of pain. These areas are then prone to arthritis, disc bulges, and even developed sciatica. Like I mentioned before, these exercises are similar to McKenzie's techniques. A case study was published in 2003 on McKenzie's diagnosis and therapy and its effects on lumbar derangement syndrome. The results showed that there was short-term resolution of low back and buttock pain, meaning by implementing these exercises, it might be able to help you with your low back pain and sciatica. Banana bends. For this position, you will need to shift your hips to the opposite side that has no pain. 
In this case, I shifted my hips away from my right leg, the side that I have red tape on. This is going to open up the intervertebral discs in the lumbar spine on the opposite side away from your pain and encouraging disc movement to this side. At first, you may feel some pain and discomfort in this position, but slowly it would subside. Once you are ready and the pain is bearable, you can do this in a sphinx pose. Make sure your hips are still shifted to the opposite side of the leg that's experiencing pain. In all these positions, you are trying to keep your hips and your stomach against the floor, as much as possible of course. Once again, if you want to increase the intensity of this exercise, you can always do press ups onto your forearms in a sphinx pose. Pelvic towel tilt. In this position, lay flat on the ground and place a rolled up towel on the side that you're experiencing pain. Make sure you shift your hip away from the leg that's experiencing pain. In my case, it's the leg with the red tape on it. In this position, take deep, long breaths in a slow and controlled manner. You may feel a slight discomfort in the lower back, but slowly the pain should subside. Once again, if you want to increase the intensity of this exercise, you can always do press ups onto your forearms in a sphinx pose. Do 10 to 15 press ups for about three to four sets. This will stimulate the muscles in your lower back in this position and encourage this movement away from the side of impingement and also improve the lumbar lordosis in your lower back, which is a natural curve in your lower back that helps support your body. Bent leg tilt position. Bring the knee on the side that you're experiencing pain up in a bent position close to your body. Make sure you shift your hips to the opposite side that you're experiencing pain on and then lay facing down on the floor. This will create a slight twist in the lower back, opening the opposite lumbar spine. This position is slightly more exaggerated compared to the towel tilt position. Hold this position for about 8 to 10 long breaths and do this for 4 to 5 sets. Once again, you can increase the intensity of this exercise by doing press ups into a sphinx pose. Do 10 to 15 press ups for 3 to 4 sets. This will stimulate the lower back muscles and encourage movement of the intervertebral discs towards the side that you have no pain. Mulligan's technique. This technique is great, especially if you didn't find any relief or an improvement from the previous exercises. Lay on the ground and lift your bent knees and move them to the side of pain. In my case, I move them to the right side where I indicated that I have pain on with a red tape. Allow the weight of your legs to slowly stretch out your lower back and touch the ground. And just relax in this position for eight to 10 long breaths for four to five sets. To make this technique more effective, just shift your hips away from the side of pain. So in my case, I shifted my hips away from the side with the red tape. Hold this position for eight to 10 long breaths and do this for four to five sets. An article was published in 2003 on McKenzie's treatment versus Mulligan's treatment. And the results showed that McKenzie's treatment was more effective for lower back pain. And Mulligan's treatment was more effective for increasing range of motion. So by doing McKenzie's technique and Mulligan's technique, it's going to help you with increasing movement in your lower back and also reducing pain at the same time. This is why I highly recommend doing the initial exercises of this video and this technique as well to allow you to reduce back pain and get you moving again. Modified laying positions. Lay on your side so the side with the pain faces up. In my case, the side with the red tape is facing up. Now place one or two pillows under your legs. This will open up the lumbar spine on the side with no pain and encourage movement towards that side to allow pain relief. Do eight to 10 long breaths in this position for four to five times. If you're able to lay in this position for a long time and you do get pain relief from this position, this might be a good position for you to be able to sleep in. However, if you lay in this position for a long period of time and it causes more pain, I highly recommend not laying in this position. Sciatic nerve flossing. Sit on a sturdy chair and raise your leg up and extend your neck at the same time. The spinal cord runs all the way from the top of the neck to your big toe. By doing this exercise, this will create a flossing effect on your nerves in the spine down to the sciatic nerve. 
threading the nerve up and down through the spaces that the nerves have to travel through. This will encourage movement throughout your spine and even the impinged areas. That's why it's called flossing. Do about 10 to 15 repetitions on each leg for three to four sets. You don't need to have your legs fully extended or your knees locked out. This may cause too much tension if you have sciatica and may increase the pain in your leg and increase the symptoms of sciatica. A slightly bent leg that is causing safe and light discomfort is enough to progressively get you better. Once again, thanks for watching. Now, if you did find this video helpful, I highly recommend you check out my decompression your lower back video. That video will definitely give you some pain relief for lower back pain and sciatica. I also want you to strengthen your lower back and your core and improve your posture for your lower back as well. So check out my bulletproof your lower back video. That video will definitely prevent you from injuries in the future and also reduce a little bit of lower back pain. I also want you to join my VIP Facebook community. I want to build a community there, that way we can help each other out. You can ask me questions and I will answer them at the best of my ability. And once again, hit subscribe, hit like, comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.